everyone. Well, today I had a weird thing happen to me. It involved the police and it involved my phone being stolen and I have my phone back. So I guess if you don't want to listen to the rest of the story, you can just go ahead and swipe. But if you want to hear what happened, hang out. All right. So I went to my local mall and I was doing some videos as I often do responding to people's comments and one person had asked me what I put in my coffee so I was on my way to film a, um, a cafe that serves soy milk and I wanted to film the container of the soy milk and all of this stuff anyway I got there and I asked behind the counter I said do you in fact have soy milk here and they're like yes and I said do you mind if I just borrow the container it comes from because I'm making a video for TikTok so she said yeah okay sure no problem so she gave me the container and then I said sorry to bother you but would it be okay if I also had a cup with the logo on of the particular cafe that we were at and she said okay so she gave me that so I was there trying to structure my video. Now you know that TikTok videos are only 60 seconds long. At least I had pushed that function. So I'd already been speaking to the camera on my way down the escalator. And so I didn't know how much time I had left, but it was about maybe, I don't know, 40 seconds or something like that of video time. So I don't want to just start to film. I kind of have to size up what's going on. And so I was sort of holding my camera like this and I was looking at the sign, the logo, and trying to see how I can swoop in to show the, the product and, um, and the cup and so on. Well, as I was trying to figure out what to do, I hadn't started filming yet at that restaurant cafe thing at all. All of a sudden, I noticed that one of the people from behind the counter was suddenly there and she said, what are you doing? And proceeded to try to interrogate me about what I was filming. And I said, well, I, I tried to explain to her, well, I'm just, I told you or whoever, there was a few of them behind the counter. So I'm just making a TikTok, TikTok video and um, trying to promote plant-based milk. And she said, well, but you filmed me. And I said, well, no, actually I didn't. Um, but um, anyway, I just thought it was strange. She, she said, well, I, I want to see what you filmed. And I said, well, I, I said, I, ha I didn't film you. But then I tried to sort of appease her by, you know, I had the TikTok open there, but as you know, anybody who uses TikTok by accident it is so easy to press one button, which goes to story. And so if you're not careful, it can, the whole thing can just go off into the, the internet land um, without you having edited it properly. So I was really careful. I didn't want to just hand her my phone to say, okay, here, go ahead, check my phone for evidence that I filmed you, even though it is perfectly legal to film in a public place. At least I thought it was. And later, the police confirmed that, yeah, it was okay. But they also seemed to be saying that at certain points, it wasn't okay, like when I was trying to film them. So I don't really understand what the rules are. But anyway, um, so she, she tried to uh, basically um, try to get me to delete something, which I, well, there's nothing to delete. I didn't even film anything yet at the restaurant. It might have seemed like it, I guess, to her because I was kind of holding the phone up and sort of, you know, practicing like artists do. You know, you set up the shot and you swoop in. But, um, you know, she didn't believe me for whatever reason. And looking back now, I'm trying to figure out why it was that she sort of turned on me or came at me so aggressively. The only thing I can think of is that maybe some people who work with her behind the counter said, oh, that's that vegan teacher. And she complains about restaurants that serve uh, animal products and while well, that is true I often do that in this case I literally was there to film the soy milk and to talk about how great it was that this place had this as an option um, but you know I'm just speculating I don't really understand why she was suddenly so close to me but she was like right beside me in my space and then that is when the part of me that's the activist that is uh, self preser self preservationist does <laughs> it that that wanted to preserve myself um kind of an alarm went off when somebody is that close in my space that is when i turn my camera on and that is to protect myself because i'm well known and there are there are many people who have made death threats against me um i've not made that a secret people have thrown dead animals over my porch and eggs at my window they have tried to steal my vegan dog bella and so on over over the last 
few years, um, I have made videos talking about these issues. So if somebody comes up to me and is demanding to take my phone or to see my phone and that I delete something that I know I didn't do anything wrong and they're hostile, then I turn my phone on and then I start to film. So I turn my phone on at that point and then I held it up like this, like as if to say back off. Um, I don't want you in my space. I haven't done anything wrong. But as soon as my phone was up, she grabbed my phone and immediately went off behind the counter, at which point I started to say, uh, give me my phone. But before she could go around the counter, um, I managed to grab her by the shirt and I, she had a, like a black t-shirt on and I was, I, I, I was careful because I didn't want to hurt her, but I wanted to stop her from taking off with my phone. Like I wasn't sure where she was going to go with it, but you know, anyway, at, at that point I grabbed her by the shirt and tried to say, give me back my phone. And I was probably yelling at this point. I yelled. In fact, I know I yelled pretty loud because I was very angry and I wanted to make every, sure everybody knew that she was stealing my phone at this point. Um, at which point she, um, ripped herself away, like pulled herself away. And then the back of her shirt ripped and, um, then she went behind the counter and I said, give me back my phone. And I was yelling still. And I said, I want to call 911. This person stole my phone. And so, uh, she wasn't doing anything. Um, some people were sort of watching a bit. And anyway, I, eventually I, a woman said she was going to try to help. She was going to call security or 911 or whatever. And, um, so in the meantime, I kept saying, I want my phone back immediately. Give me my phone back. And at one point she took the phone and she, it had, it was, I know in her pocket at one point and then uh, and then she, at one point she took it and she slammed it down on the counter at which point I said don't slam my phone and I was pretty upset but I didn't touch anything I didn't touch the counter because um you know I, did, I felt like going back there and just grabbing my phone like like anybody would if this happened to you just think about it how would you feel if somebody grabbed your phone from you and you didn't know who they were or what they were going to do with it and you were completely innocent, uh, you would have the same reaction as I would, as anybody would, even a police officer off duty. If I came up to him and just sort of tried to grab the phone and be like, what the fuck are you doing? Fuck off. Like he would definitely try to grab me and, you know, stop me from committing this crime if I tried to do that. Anyway, it took a long time, it seemed, for the police to get there. The, at one point, a security guard was there and um, I told him, I said, hey, get me my phone. She stole my phone. And at one point he had it in his hand and then, I don't know, I guess he didn't really know what was going on he kind of panicked or I don't know what, eventually he gave it back to her and I'm like, no, she stole my phone, that's my phone. Anyway, to make a long story short, I did get my phone back in the end, but it was a very strange experience. And in uh, talking with the police officers, they said, they confirmed that you have a right to film in a public place and I did nothing wrong. So um, I decided to press charges because this woman took my phone out of my hand and essentially stole it for, I don't know how long it was, but it sort of seemed for a really long time. And um, I wasn't happy about that. So we're gonna see what happens. And so this is my message to any of you. If you see me out in public, if you try to come near me, I will film you. And if you try to steal my phone, I will come after you and try to get it back. And if you don't get it back, I will be pressing charges. Now, I don't know what's going on in the world. People seem to have been gone, gone a bit crazy, but it seems like common sense that if you try to steal something from a person, whether it's a bicycle or a computer, that you should expect that somebody is going to try to get that item off of you. Now, you can run, but most likely you'll be chased, especially you will if you try to take something of mine. So that's my story. Let me know in the comments if anyone has ever tried to steal anything from you. How did that feel? How did you react? What do you think you would have done if somebody had just randomly taken your phone off of you? Would you be calm? Would you just be like, okay, I'll just wait for the police to get here and um, just not yell? Or would you sort of try hard to get that item back? I'm curious to see your answers. So thanks a lot for listening and uh, I will see you guys all in the next video. Coming up on screen though are gonna be a bunch of other videos. Have a look at them. Check around my site. I'm here to defend animals first and foremost. And in today, I was really trying to help promote different restaurants that had different uh, soy milk and oat milk and almond milk. But unfortunately, my video of the day ended up being this instead.
Thanks for being here. See you all tomorrow.